Suddenly, the majestic form of a wild creature caught Phoenix's eye. If Phoenix wanted to tame the beautiful beast, the mortal would have to befriend it first. Why are you whispering? Because I don't want to scare it away. What are you on? Because can I have some? Huh? 
The sight of the Great Hall took Phoenix's breath away. This is incredible. It's all right. Could use some updating. The Golem motif is a bit played out. So, we're safe here. Remember that thing I stole from Typhon? It was an itty-bitty piece of his eye to hide this place from his terrifying gaze. You're welcome. You said this is the Hall of the Gods. Well, where are the others? Let me start from the beginning. With his hand on Phoenix's shoulder, Hermes recounted the tale of Typhon, destroyer of gods. Typhon, born of Gaia, was a terrible, cruel beast who vowed to free the Titans and obliterate the gods. He challenged Zeus for the rule of the cosmos. Fortunately, Typhon was defeated. Damn straight he was! And imprisoned under a mountain, where he could do no more harm. I've got to get back into that kind of shape again. For thousands of years, Typhon festered, until Helios was eclipsed, and burning stars fell from the heavens. The stars burnt through Typhon's chain, and in an explosion of fire and smoke, Typhon burst from the mountain. The gods had wronged and tortured him. Never again! He vowed. This world will be cleansed. The gods will pay! And so, Typhon sought his revenge. Destroy the veil that separates this hallowed land from the underworld! Let Tartarus walk among the gods! Trouble, devour, and turn this life false god to dust! Come, Olympians! Brandish your weapons and face me! You have underestimated my power and work in your hubris! Go to my unseatable perfection! Some gods fled in fear. Others stayed to fight. Many were captured. Typhon split them apart, cleaving their essences from them, 
and transforming them irrevocably. In a final desperate attempt to save their lands, the gods called on the heroes of old, the last warriors who had more than a few drops of god's blood remaining in their veins. <laughs> Weak and selfish, your heroes will exist as shadows of their former selves, serving me forever! The gods had failed, and so had the heroes. But just when all hope seemed lost, So yeah, a lot of fighting and losing, and now you are our only remaining hope to restore these lands to their former glory and save the world from chaos. All we have, Phoenix, is you. No pressure. I kinda lost track of who's who. Is that one with the spiky hair you or Typhon? Forget it! The vanquished gods need to be reunited with their severed essences to regain their power. And then, together, you must defeat Typhon. Huh. Huh. This is honestly a lot. I wish my brother was here. Look, kid, I'm not perfect. I'm the guy who escorted Pandora to Earth for Zeus's sake. But maybe, just maybe, you're the right hero at the right time. Also, you're literally all we've got, seeing as how everyone else has been defeated. Good luck! I'll be right here, doing nothing. <clears throat> I mean, beginning preparations. Thanks. I think. Oh, there's that face again. Fine. Your best starting point is to reach the top of the other statues on the Golden Isle, so you can track the missing gods. Find them, and they should be able to help you locate their stolen essences. Although... they haven't been themselves, so I'm really not sure. Um... what's that mean? Guess you'll find out. Phoenix, think. What would my brother do? There's that wonderful smell again. Ambrosia is life. You want increased protection? Distill it here and drink up. Then, enjoy the ride. One time, Athena downed that whole Kelex and destroyed the entire Greek fleet, right after she had sided with them in battle. It was epic. Sorry. Guess you just had to be there. Many of my relatives were. They died. And I told Athena not to do that. But did she listen? No. <sighs> Ooh, is this Hephaestus's forge? You're cute. Try not to impale yourself on anything. But Phoenix wasn't listening. He was drawn to the forge by a hidden force. The adamantine he'd gathered, calling out to be reshaped. Nice cauldron! Phoenix let the empty compliment die in the ensuing silence, and instead tried to focus on potential potion recipes.
Those are a few ideas for ways to stick it to Typhon. You mortals seem to need an incentive, so I'll pay you Electrum for accomplishing each. And since I'm the god of merchandise, you can spend it right here on, you guessed it, merchandise. Ooh, creative. Or you could always just pay me your own Electrum. I thought the incentive was for me. I'm the god of financial gain. Those prices? Wow! I'm also the god of thieves. We all have our vices. What's that underneath? It's a chore chart. Someone has to get Ares to clean up after himself. Ever tried to get blood out of a sea of blood? Now that is a feat. Electrum burning a hole in your pocket? Is this where the gods get their dental exams? No, it's where we rip off our skin to change our appearance. Huh, still better than visiting the dentist. What's this? Not sure. Hades had it delivered. Deposit an offering for the ferryman, and unexpected help could very well arrive. Be careful, though. Argo broke the last gift from the underworld, and look what happened to him. Who's Argo? Exactly.
let me know if you're in the market for anything. <sighs>
Phoenix stumbled upon the world. As Phoenix freed the small creature imprisoned on the isle, she let out a cry. Which meant, great hero, I am but a piece of Nike, the goddess of victory. Please free the others, so I may return to my full glory. They won't win without Nike. She's like a glove or a, a thing you wear that protects you while running. A helmet. So, what is it? Phoenix would need to free it to find out. Yeah, but you can tell me now. Can you please respect my narrative pacing? What was that? 